Good morning and welcome back to the Faroe Islands. I am feeling very relaxed because I just had a nice overnight stay in the capital, Torshaven. I just needed a warm bed again after a few nights in the tent. Check out the other videos if you haven't seen them yet. Today I was going to go to the island of Kalsoy, but just as I got to the ferry in Klasvik, the ferry was already full uh, with other cars. So I missed that one, I'm gonna take another one at 2 o'clock but just to make good use of the time I drove another 10 minutes to this island called Kunoi where there's Kunoi Park On the Faroe Islands there are not many trees at all so this park is really special because there's just many trees in one place and it's basically a little park up here in the hillside so I'm gonna have a look around before I head back to the ferry port to continue my day. Have you heard about summer snow? When it falls on you, your blood runs cold. Don't you sweat your pretty skin Cause it melts away for it sinks in This is such a nice place to come to, to relax a bit I really wonder why there are all these trees growing here and nowhere else on the island Maybe they have planted it, I'm not sure, I'm gonna look it up When the sea runs dry, we start to sing Have you heard from the sky? made it onto the ferry I definitely recommend coming an hour earlier because there were many cars waiting to get over here to Kalso Island and they couldn't get on because they were too late like I was this morning so I'll make sure when I leave the island again this evening to be there in time otherwise I'm stuck here I don't have my tent with me so I really have to catch that ferry anyway I'm now in the village of Mikaladur where there is the famous seal woman. I'll tell you more about it as soon as I get down to the statue. There we go, behind me there is the famous seal woman. I'm quickly gonna touch on the story. It's one of the most important stories to the Faroese Islands. The people of this island used to believe that people who died in the sea, who went into the sea, they became seals and every 13th day of a month these seals could come out, take off their seal clothes and be human again. Now on one of these nights a young man here from the village watched the beach and he watched a young seal lady come out, take off her seal dress and go dance with the others. He then snuck up to her dress, took her seal clothing and um, hit it basically. He wouldn't give it back to her unless she came back to his place and became his wife. So that's what she did, she came back, she couldn't go back to the sea, became his wife and bore him many children. A man always kept her seal clothes hidden away in a treasure and one day when he was out fishing he forgot to lock the treasure so the seal Okay, my next stop on this island is gonna be the Kalur Lighthouse. It's a short hike there, but shouldn't be too far and I'm excited to see it. Just a quick word on driving here on Kalsoy Island. Um, the streets are very good and it's easy to get around. However, there are several single track tunnels and the tunnels are really not well lit so it's quite dark and quite a scary experience especially if there's a car coming towards you but yeah it's fine just keep that in mind if you're scared of driving 
in Thomas. So it seems like I can't get to Kalur Lighthouse today because apparently you need a guide to hike there. I should have done better research on that one. But how could I complain with a view like this? So I'm just gonna sit a bit, relax, enjoy these last views of Kalsoy Island. I'm still glad I came, really wanted to see the seal woman in person as well and then get back towards the ferry as soon as possible to catch a spot back. Already at the ferry terminal now, one and a half hours early because I really don't want to miss that ferry. There are already so many cars waiting here. So good thing I came early this time. To go back to Klasvik, it just takes about 30 minutes, costs 20 euros one way, again quite expensive but really the only way, there's also a helicopter, but <laughs> to be realistic the only way to explore the island of Kalsoy. When I'm back in Klasvik I'm gonna drive back one hour to Torshaven because I have my nice hotel there, as I said I had enough of the tents for now, but uh, tomorrow night it's gonna be a tent night again. After another hour of driving, I'm back at the other end of the country. It's very convenient with these distances, nothing's really far away. So the Faroe Islands are perfect for a road trip. I must say I didn't really have the greatest day today because a few things just went wrong, couldn't go on the hike, missed the ferry and some other things with the car as well. But I really enjoyed seeing the seal woman and also Kunoi Park. I would definitely recommend to plan those into your trip. I have a few more days left here on the Faroe Islands so I'm very looking forward to everything that's coming along my way. Thank you very much for watching today and I'll see you in the next video.